Hey, what's up? This is Michael. Hey, this is Ryan, and welcome to All Day Unpacked. Holy shit balls! There is a <laughs> lot to go over. There is a ton of stuff happening right now, and man, it is. I'm, I mean, my head's spinning. I'm sure you feel the same way right now. It is, I can't even keep up. Yeah, it's crazy town. Okay, so we're going to start from the top. We're going to start with kind of the updates on the platform and what's going on. And then we're going to work our way towards the drop that's coming Thursday, tomorrow morning uh, or afternoon, I guess. All right. So first things first. Sure. The Let's just talk about the simple stuff. The app version of NFL All Day is now coming to Android. So for all of the Android users, that's a win, right? So that's that great. Huge. That that means now everybody's got it. So fantastic. Um, another really cool thing about the app marketplace is finally going to be on the app. And I will say this as someone yes. who's had the app on my phone for a while, I don't use it because I can't buy right. anything. So it's like, yep. what good is it? It's pretty so, much useless. Yep. It's about time it, that they exactly. finally got that on there. Just a, just a simple, basic thing. Everybody wants it. Awesome. Great job. Exactly. So perfect. Great win. And then mm -hmm. coming in kind of mid year, I don't, they didn't give a firm date. I'm sure it's going to rely on like kind of programming, testing, blah, 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 blah. Right is sure. going to be the ability to make offers on moments. And you can do this currently on Floaty, which I think is fantastic. In fact, I mm -hmm. literally just did one an hour Five ago minutes. and got okay. it. So, yeah, so so love this did feature. Did you get it? Love that it's coming. I did get it, actually. Oh, I did? Was, okay, I was well, congratulations. On a, on a Bears moment to add to my, to my leaderboard, which we'll get to in a minute. But Hopefully it anyway. wasn't one of our viewers, but... Hopefully it was because I mean, <laughs> hey, it's cash in their pocket. So you're welcome. Okay. Okay. Uh, nice. Anyway, so Floaty has this ability to make uh, a, like an offer right now, which is great, and um, it's coming to the all day marketplace, which is again is fantastic. So I'm glad they're adding that. I think that'll be a big win, just because again, it's like it's on the top shot mark, the top shot marketplace, um, and there's usually a pretty good disparity. Like if you take it like. I don't know, like, let's say like Anthony Edwards, right? Like he may be listed sure. right now for, you know, like 120 or 110, but his okay. offer is more like in the 80, 88, $89 range. And so what's nice is like, if you would just want to sell one, if you've got an Anthony Edwards and you just want to sell it right now on Top Shot, you can just go in there, hit sell, boom, it's gone, right? It's right. money in your pocket. You don't have to stress about it. You can take that money, buy packs, whatever you want to do, you're doing a deal, whatever you need, you're getting your money out immediately and going straight forward with it. So love that. I'd love it if they put it in on the packs too, which would be really awesome if you could sell your old packs if you kept any, you know, and have those just like have an auto offer on those. Right. I think that'd be one really, question uh, I do have really smart. One question I do have about that is, will they allow offers below a dollar? So they didn't say anything about it. Or I didn't read anything about it, but it, I would say right. probably not. I think floating okay. is still going to be the sub dollar um, marketplace, but, but, I think sub dollar moments are starting to go. I mean, the historical ones, not so much just because they're just, sure. they don't have the, you know, the, the pull, but I'm, but I'm, but like series one moments right now, the floor on series one moments is like going up, 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 like, especially on some of the teams that are more kind of uh, like hot teams this year, like, the, like, again, sure. like being a bears fan, yeah. right? Like I can tell you that the bears, that you can't get a series one Chicago bears player for a dollar anymore. And there used to be multiple dollars, multiple players you get for a dollar. And there would are there no be more any reason for something like that. There could be, that would be a great hmm. segue into team. Oh, leaderboards. Okay. okay. So we got, we got team leaderboards coming now. And this, so the way that these work is that you compete against obviously everybody else. It's based on the average sale price of that moment. And so series one moments obviously have a much higher sales price because back in the good old days, you could, you know, again, I'll use a bear for an example, but like okay. Khalil Herbert, for instance, his rookie <laughs> moment has okay. an average sale price and you, it's like, you want to shoot yourself for paying this much, but his average sale price is like $14. So sounds like a bargain. If you buy, yeah, it was, it was back then. If you <laughs> buy a Khalil Herbert now for $2, it actually counts for fourteen dollars worth of value on the market on the on the leaders on the leaderboards. So uh -huh. what you're seeing right now is a lot of these like low moments that are you know kind of a low multiple of what they used to be for the average right. sale price. You're seeing those low moments get kind of bought up so that it's like a cheap way to inflate your market value. 
you see this all the time with the trade-ins too it's like you want right. to like trevor lawrence trevor lawrence is uh like for instance right now and i'm jumping way ahead but like his series one legendary okay. his average sale price is like four thousand three hundred dollars and you can buy one right now for like fourteen hundred dollars so and for all the it's, for all the dummies out there average sale price is like from the beginning of time until now they've just averaged all the prices out there that have been paid and they're just taking that average and that's what the value is yep exactly okay so it's not the it's not holding the most number of moments. It's holding the moments with the most average sale price volume, you know, volume. So right, right. It's it's a little bit tricky in that way. It's but there's some ways to kind of game the system, and you see a lot of people doing that. So these team leadership, these team leadership, these team leaderboards <laughs> are coming are coming in hot. Um, and then there's going to be things that they're going to drop for people who do things like so. If you're on top of these, you'll get like special serial numbers of um, new moments. You okay. get crates of, you know, like you, you get like certain crates that'll be available to you. You get and a crate packing, again like, is, is what? A crate is usually like, um, again, those, these are more around the trade in events. So, so let me back right. up. Sorry. I understand. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm time out. I'm, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. The team leaderboards, sorry, the team leaderboards, the rewards are for the top 50. If your team's a playoff team. So if the Jags okay. make the playoffs this year okay. and you're number 47 on the board, you will get a free banner moment of the Jags um, airdrop to you. Got it. So as long as you're one through 50, you're going to get that free banner moment for the, for your team. Okay. Uh, and then, you know, so you, so you get that if you're number okay, what one if, overall. What, okay. I was going to say, what if I'm one. number one? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it doesn't, that's the only one that gets like a special choice. So number one gets number one. I don't know if it goes serial like two one, through yeah. 50. I don't think it yeah. does. It sounds like just number one gets number one. And then after that, it's random. Sure. Yeah. Um, so then there's going to be like draws, like for giveaways. So they're going to give out like tickets or like merch or things to like okay. top fans. So it's like being in the, they'll say like, Hey, we're going to do a drawing of like the top 20 Jags fans and whoever we pick gets a signed Trevor Lawrence, you know, Jersey or something say, right. Which is cool. Which is cool. Yeah. Yeah. And then Absolutely. airdrops are going to come to teams with, you know, players and rookies from that team. You're going to get airdrops if you're up in those, um, you know, kind of those top tiers of the leaderboard. Sure. So, so I'll say this, like, it's funny because, like, as a Bears fan, up until, like, l like literally, like, up until last year, I, you know, it would be no problem to get on that leaderboard. But now this year, because there's two stud rookies coming into Chicago, it's like all the all the big the big whales are, like, planting their ass right on the Chicago leaderboards. Not because they like Chicago at all, but just right. because they know that's where the valuable moments are going to be. So, so those they don't guys, obviously know a lot about football. <laughs> <laughs> yeah don't worry the bears will break your heart too just like they've exactly. broken mine for the last 25 years so mm -hmm. yeah i'll just have uh some extra people to have misery with so looking forward yep. to that all right anyway so that that kind of wraps up the leaderboards i was i was jumping ahead a little bit more to the drops this year and sure such, okay. so some of the trade-ins and stuff so all right so from that we're can, gonna get can into i ask like, you kind of really like, quick before you before yeah. you dive into that what is your yeah. opinion on the leaderboards i mean like you're a bears fan there's all these studs coming out. I mean, is this is this something we're liking or are we not liking? I mean, yeah, I like it. I think it's I first of all, you're getting people to lock moments, right? So that's yep. another reason to lock moments and you're giving people rewards. This is exact I mean, they do this on the top shot side, people go for it, people like it. I yep. like that they're doing I mean, again, I'm not a big top shot guy. I've I've got a very small top shot collection, so I can't say I don't participate in, in that side of things. Sure. But I will say that from what I hear, it's like, I don't know. I don't know how much they get for being on those leaderboards. I know they get like a kind of like a, a banner year moment for, okay. you know, like very similarly, but I don't know if they get anything beyond that. So I like the idea if they really start doing this of like airdrops of other moments. I like the idea of, you know, like physical merchandise, like jerseys, tickets, you know, just mm -hmm. little things to like give people incentive for being on a team leaderboard. So I like where they're going with that. I mean, I think it's cool. I mean, I'd be curious for you, you know, like, again, you and I have a little bit of different collecting styles, but like, you know, you, I know you're a collector. Mm -hmm. I mean, do, do you want, I mean, what do you think about Jags leaderboard? Do you want to be on it? Do you care? Are you going to lock up your moments to try? Here's the thing. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, think, it's the Jags. I, I think, How many people like, are going to try I, for the Jags? Right. <laughs> exactly. I'll probably be number five. Now, um, I know there's some big dogs in that arena. Um, first of all, I want to say that, I like it. Again, it's just another thing that's going after the collector. And like you said, it's locking moments. And 
when you tell me that Bears moments like Khalil Herbert and, you know, some of these Darnell Moonies and people like that, when those start raising up and it's like they're a dollar again, it's like we're going somewhere again. We're not going towards 30 cents. Like these guys are getting bought up. It's like another reason to start buying these low dollar guys. And I, I think that I think they've actually kind of figured out a way to kind of maybe circumvent some of these issues with low dollar comments. So I love it. Yeah, I think the next step is to figure out a way to assist with like the historical because there's like a glut of historical comments oh, at like God. 30, yeah. 40 cents. And it's just like, they got to figure that out. So they, again, that's another episode. We got way too much to cover to get into I that know, one. But I'm going to throw in one piece about that since you started it. All right. What I'm going to say is all day, if you're listening, take the rares, the commons, the historicals and make those sets valuable in the playbook in the season, in the, in the 2024 season, people will go in and buy them all up and just like make them worth something. And, and, yeah. and if you give value to them for like, you know, like you always like, you know, to, 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 to craft a, a moment or something like that, you always need like some set or whatever. It's just like, make them a value for something. And again, yeah, they'll buy up that floor. They've they've done it before, they, and it always works. They have, but they don't tend to mix like in season sets with historical sets. Like they tend to keep Larry historical. With his, yeah, that was th those were all historical moments that that was used for, and they used it in season. No, those were out of season, I think. Oh, I thought that was in season. That it was like no, that was, I'm pretty sure that was out of season. We'll fucking make it in season, and let's call it a day. All right. Well, anyway, yeah. So okay, <laughs> yeah. yeah, figure it out. Basically, let's get yeah. back on track. I got gotcha. you. Okay. All right. Next, we're going to talk about kind of the moments and the sets. I have not seen any mention of uncommon moments. So I think uncommon moments may be a thing of the past. I don't know that for a fact, but I have not seen anything that says uncommon on it whatsoever. Good written. So, yeah. Yeah. Those were a waste kind of, of time anyway. Yeah. Well, in my, in my estimation, those were a waste of time. Yeah. And what's interesting is they're doing, you know, like I, what I am seeing is that they're doing different, um, they're doing common kind of, they're doing common um, mints, but just different numbers of, you know, like different players get different numbers. Like some players are getting 1500, some get 2500, some get 3000. So it they could just be took really the common and made the uncommon together, right? I mean, essentially, they yep, just took exactly. the two and smashed them together, which makes sense. Yep, you got it. So all right so so there's that and then what i'm seeing too is like i'm seeing a lot of like some of like the they're bringing back some of the hits right so launch codes is coming back but it's only going to be for it's it's all rares and it's all qbs so okay historically there's been some receivers and you know other folks in launch codes okay it's all receivers now or all I'll call uh, all I'll quarterbacks call now sorry okay no that's yep. cool and then they're also going to be doing like position specific rare sets for running backs receivers, tight ends, and defensive players. So you're saying Sorry, just a set for just just running backs, just tight ends. And do we have any names on those sets? None on those, no. So okay. I haven't heard anything on the names of those on those sets. But yes, there'll be like a set for running backs, a yep. set for receivers, a set for tight ends. I'm assuming receivers and tight ends will get lumped together, honestly. Got it. So probably a running back, a receiver tight end, and then a defense. Um, will there be a, a kicker defense. One? No, no, okay. no love for the special teams. So <laughs> okay. not yet. At what's least. your, what's your opinion on this launch codes thing? I mean, like, so the, I like the, it. I, I like, oh, okay. I you collect, do. yeah, I collect the launch codes. I collected last season, even like in, in that iteration, I like launch codes. I mean that like in series one, that was like the set to have, like that, that was is, it. you know, in, in the rares, obviously not in the legendaries. There's some pretty legendary, legendary sets, but it's, right. In the rares, the launch codes was kind of like the seminal set. It had Mahomes, it had uh, Lawrence, it had Herbert, it had you know a bunch of really good players debuting yeah. in it, um, and and that was like kind of like the cream of the crop set. So lo I love it. I love that they're you know making that a thing still. Sure, I still think that season one launch codes is like the peak. Like to me, it, it's like it, there will never yeah. be a set like that again. There won't because, and I and I agree with you because again, it had so many cool debuts in it that it was like, right. and it, it seems like they're maybe moving a little bit away from like, um, you know, like like they're like all the rookies are going to be starting as commons this year versus like you know in series one there were there were legendary rookie debuts there were rare rookie rookie debuts and there were you know common ones and so 
it, it was kind of it's kind of a wild thing to you know to value those moments against each other when there's so many different amounts of them around and such. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Anyway. Got it. Got okay. it. Okay. All right. So so we've got um, those. There's another new series called Fresh Threads. That's okay. new. That's going to be for any player that you know traded teams uh, over the season. So guys in that like Derrick Henry, Keenan Allen, sure. um, you know Zach Wilson, Stephon Diggs. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I saw Zach Wilson's name on Fresh Threads. <laughs> hey, I did see Dalvin yeah. Cook move today. Yeah, did he? Did he sign finally with the, I think the, the Cowboys? Cowboys? Was it? Mm-hmm. I, I know he was I mean, visiting. Yeah. I didn't know if he signed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did. Yeah. All right. So yeah, there'll be some um, so, yeah, fresh so, threads. There'll be some fresh threads like that. And I, I like I like that. I, I think that's a great set, by the way. I just I you know all yeah. these guys that move teams. It's like I think it's great to just put them in a set, call it a day. I like it. It's, it's nice. It's yeah. neat. I'm all about it. Yeah, you pick and you're picking like some. It's a good way to like kind of cherry pick some of the stars and give them a moment. Um, you know. It, I will be like, it's a little bit, you know, we'll, we'll see how it plays out with, you know, how many moments and the things get saturated again, but it's, yeah, again, I, I like the idea of the set and then right. they're bringing in something again. This is another, I believe another top shot kind of grab, which is NFL hollow icon moments and metallic gold LE moments as well. And I think these are like really special legendary moments that are going to exist not they're kind of between legendary and ultimate ultimate right? okay. Like they're, okay yeah so they'll be like legendary but special legendary with like these got it special hollow icon blah 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 things and such um, sounds like those so, uh, yeah. those those special team moments from back in the day but <laughs> with, with the hollow <laughs> what i'm it's, guessing that these yeah. might be a little bit better than those yeah these will <laughs> these better be <laughs> um but yeah so I don't I don't know enough about these. They like there's there was literally just one line in the announcement about it. So right, we'll kind of wait these to are see just, how this that is just plays a set, out. right? It's not an actual type of moment. It's not like a common and like a hollow. It's the hollow. No, is the, I think it'll be a set. I think it'll be like a legendary set that will be like you know like a hollow set or a gold le set or something like that. But right, again, right. It, I don't know. It could be different. Um, I'm sure some of our viewers who are more top shot savvy could probably. Um, comment and, and explain it better than we're doing. So sure. Um, anyway, yeah. So again, what they're going to be doing is dropping like a lot of these sets kind of throughout the year. And what I thought was kind of cool is like launch codes. They're not going to just drop launch codes on week four, and that's launch codes. They're going to drop okay. like you know on week four they're going to drop like six moments for launch codes, and then on week nine they're going to drop five more, and then at the end they're going to drop three more. So. They're going to be dropping a lot of these series. They're going to get kind of broken up over the year, which is kind of cool because, you know, it, like that's how it kind of was back in series one and two is like, sure. you know, they'd, they'd open the set. And then when there was like a moment that actually was worthy of it, it yep. made it. And Got so it. I like the idea that they're kind of getting back to the roots there. And Do we have any idea know, of who's going to be in the list? Like in launch code. So that's, no, that's a mystery I mean, right I, now. I'll bet you like, you know, I mean, like, let's, let's think it through, right? Like Mahomes, Allen. Like all the guys, like who who well, aren't think about launch be... codes last last season was not like that. I mean, Tommy DeVito it, was in there. It it wasn't, but that was a lot of that. I think was because all of the big stars were dynamic moments, and there are no that. more dynamic moments. And so we got to get Mahomes a moment, right? If I'm all day, yeah. it's like I know there's right. eight billion Mahomes moments, but it's like we still need another one this year because people yeah, are going to want. And it. everybody understands that. Yeah, that makes sense. And launch code seems like a really nice place to slot that in. I'm that sure that probably, he'll yes. also be in like kind of the gold hollow upper end stuff too. But like, you know, for the rare crowd dropping him in launch code seems like a good, I think that'd good be place the perfect spot sense. for him. Yes. Yeah. And did we get, did we get counts? I don't know if he's mentioned that already. Did we get counts on launch codes? We don't have any counts, but my understanding is that rares are going to mint at about four ninety nine because I, the that's where fresh threads is. Um, we do have data on fresh threads, and it looks like fresh threads is minting the rare moments are minting at four ninety nine. That's nice. Yeah, I mean, some people actually, I've I've kind of you know been been following the Discord and looking at comments, and a few people think that number is still a little bit too high. They wanted to see it more in that three hundred range, okay. but. I, you know, I think for modern players, I think four ninety nine is pretty good. I, I, I think four ninety nine is good. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's a good like place to start, and maybe they learn a lesson and that they should have gone to three hundred. But I think you know four ninety nine could be a decent. You know, again, because you don't want you don't want to make it too 
difficult to put these sets together because there's going to be burn right. challenges and things like that. So, well, I mean, with everything they're doing, maybe there will be more of an influx of users coming back into the fray. So, if there is, then you know, maybe that's the hope a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I think one the can idea hope of what they're getting back. What's that? I said one can hope. Yeah, exactly. And I think the idea of like putting in leaderboards and things like that might bring back some of the people who were big in series one who, you know, invested a lot. There's like some people who have definitely, you know, gone away over the, the last couple of years. And so, you know, the idea of bringing some of those folks back, bringing in some new blood, it could, you know, yep. could be a nice, it, it feels like they're really like, I have to say this, like they're trying, like, again, there's so much news. They are trying really hard right now to, yes, they are. you know, make everybody happy. Everything I see is like a lot of response to what people kind of complained about, and wanted to see more of, and things like that. So I think they're listening at least. It seems like they're just simplifying it. It seems like they just like cut the bullshit. What do people want? Let's just do that. Let's go with it. Let's keep it simple. It just, it's, I mean, they had a, a blog post that said, I think it said back to basics or something like that. I think that was the tagline. Yeah. But anyway, to me, that's what, I mean, I think whoever came up with that in marketing, great job, because that's what it kind of feels like to me. Yep, agreed. I, I, mean, I think that they, you know, they, they're focusing on like adding like some features that people want to see. They're focusing on, you know, bringing back some of the sets that people want to see. And then we're about to get into kind of a focal point of this year. And we saved kind of this for the last, because this is a big piece, is the rookies. So. Um, you know, rookies are like an important part of, of a collecting experience, right? Sure. Like when you collect, um, you know, I, I mean, you know, you and I both used to collect physical cards and yeah. you know, that was the one you wanted. You always wanted the rookie card of whoever it was you were trying to get. And so Correct. they have really, they've gone all in on the rookies this year. It is insane. So, okay. So let's get started on that part. So, so the first thing they did. Okay. okay go, go ahead. ahead. I was going to say, I'm sure you're getting your, to the top 10. Yep. Go ahead. So yeah, so, so yeah, so what they're doing is they're saying, okay, here's the top 10 rookies that we picked. You and I had some ideas. We actually kind of debated around who these top 10 might be. Do you want to go close. ahead and just have that conversation right now, or should we have that later? No, yeah, we can have it right now. The top 10 are, oh boy, here we go. All right, so you got, well, basically the first few draft picks. So you got Caleb Williams, mm -hmm. you got uh, Jaden Daniels, you got Drake May, you got Bo Nix. And uh -huh. the guy who we disagreed on that you were right on, Michael Penix, made the top 10 cut. That mm -hmm. really surprises me knowing that he's not going to, you know, he's not a starter. I don't know. Maybe they see something that I don't see. But anyway, Penix is in the top 10. Okay. Then okay. you got Harrison Jr., Malik Neighbors, Roma Dunze, Brock Bowers. And, and then number 10 was not Brian Thomas Jr., like I said. And it was Xavier Worthy. Xavier Worthy. They did my yep. Jags dirty, so, but that's okay. I'm I good with that. Think, I did think Xavier Worthy was going to make it. I thought Brian Thomas Jr. was going to make it. Michael Penix wasn't. You were you were right. You right. thought they were going to do the Jags dirty. They did the Jags dirty. I should have listened to you. But I, I, I will say this. I think they're going to regret that decision because, again, I just don't – Penix maybe plays week one, but Kirk Cousins is the guy this year. Like, I don't – like, what – I don't know. Like Coming off of an injury like that, like a, coming off of an injury like that, I think that's, you know, like – yeah. More than likely at his age, coming off something like that, there's there's a good chance he'll get in. Well, I guess all it means is that Penix is either just going to be in on a gadget play during garbage time, or we're just going to get a really sweet shot of him over the clipboard. Okay, so. well, let me ask you this question. If there's a Michael Penix Jr. comment out there, are you just going to get rid of it, or are you going to keep it? No, I, I mean, mean, I would keep it just because I think, again, potentially later on down the line. Right. And I think that's I just, why they're doing it. Yeah. Because the potential. But here's the thing, is that they're setting this moment up to be able to trade in to get, so we're about to get to this. There's going to be a rare and a legendary of Michael Penix Jr. Okay. So anyway. <laughs> I don't know about that part. We're going to get to that. We're, we'll yeah. get into that. Okay. But anyway, I, I'm jumping ahead. So, okay. That's, so So these 10 rookies, there are only right. going to be 1,500 of them. So it pains me because, of course, the one year the Bears have two top 10 picks that are right. in this group, there's only 1,500. They're going to be sought after. They're going to be extensive. I'm going to, you know, people are going to be fighting for him. It's going to, yeah, it's, it's going to get nuts. So right, that's going to be uh, no bueno for me, but nonetheless, I'll manage, I'll manage to at least get, you know, some debuts or whatever, but I, I'm it. really curious to see how expensive these things get. 
even for commons. Beyond that, anybody drafted in the first round gets a min of twenty five hundred. So, for instance, okay. your your guy Brian Thomas Jr. Brian he'll Thomas get a twenty five hundred yep. min. Yep. So good okay. for you. You'll get him a lot cheaper that way. I will stack him up, right? Yeah. Stack. Well, why him would I want to stack him because, up? Because well, we're getting to that. But 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 stack. I was trying to set you right? up there. Come on. I, I know, but I'm not there yet. A little early. Talk about a little the early. remaining. Okay. The rem- hey, you're a little early. The remaining rookies get three thousand of their min count. So. Okay. They get 3000 Now let's talk about stacking. So the reason you're going to stack up Brian Thomas Jr. is because as the year progresses, they are going to take the rookies that are performing and they're going to create a rare set called Regal Rookies. This is a new set. And one of the ways that you'll be able to get this Regal Rookie version of your rookie is by, they haven't said yet, burning, locking, trading in, who knows? A certain number of commons of that player to achieve that rare. From that rare, you can then take a certain number of those rares to achieve the legendary, which is the rookie revelation set, which has been around. That was a series one and series two set. So this will be the third iteration of that rookie revelation set. And you'll be able to basically get that, get to that um, by that method. There will be other ways to get there though. So I don't know. I'm I'm really curious, and I know we talked about this a little bit. I'll be yep. really curious to see if they mint the set and they say, okay, Regal Rookies, right. there's 300, period. You can mint to it, and we're going to put the rest in packs, or are they going to let the, you know, like, are they going to auction off the top 50 spots, and you mint to those top 50 spots, and the rest of the 250 right. go in packs, or... Do they get airdrop to leaderboards or who, you know, so I have no idea how they're going to do this. They haven't said. Um, right. Or could they do it like the crafting? Like where there's only well, X amount. They've definitely said they're going to do a weighted draw for the top fans in the leaderboards. So if your number, let's say like they, I mean, I don't know what they're going to go to like one through a hundred um, where first place gets a hundred entries, second place gets 99 and so on and so on. I don't know what they're going to do, but there's going to be, drawings on the on the now these aren't the team leaderboards these are the rookie leaderboards so rookies will have leaderboards in addition so there will be a board for caleb williams where if you have the most of his common you're going to be number one fan of caleb williams and so uh there will be these leaderboards and again based on i think probably average sale price or i don't know what they're gonna base them on because they're all kind of they're going to be the same until obviously additional moments get introduced. So I'm assuming it's going to be average sale price, but there'll be these moments being on those moments, gets you a chance to get those uh, higher versions as well. Um, You'll be able to trade in moments to get things. You'll be able to do like kind of, you know, get crates like we've talked about before. Like there'll there'll probably be some sort of challenge where you can get like a crate of the, of the best rookies where it'll be those top 10 rookies in a crate. And you'll have to burn, you know, rookie moments from all sorts of crazy stuff to get them. Would you prefer to see them have you, like, you know, like, let's say you're trying to get Caleb Williams. I mean, obviously, you'd probably prefer that they lock them. But just for the the sake of discussion, would you prefer that they do a lock of X amount of moments to get, like, the next step? Or would you rather see them trade those in and maybe some of those disappear? I'm With only 1,500, I I feel like you've got to lock. I mean... Not to be whatever, but it, I don't want to be like a panic person. But if there's only fifteen hundred and you're trying to grow this platform beyond, you know, the few thousand, two to three thousand people that'll be, I mean, you know, however many people come on board okay. for this, like only fifteen hundred of this is it's going to be a limiting number already, and really make those things sought after. And you're you're rewarding people for stacking these things and having like multiple of them. I, I think that. I don't, I'm really curious, I'm probably being a bit panicky just because I'm a Bears fan, but I feel like there's going to be way more demand for 1,500 of these moments, especially when they're encouraging you to stack them and people are going to try to get in the top of those boards. I feel like these things are going to be like, I I mean, like really squeeze the supply. So, okay, Okay. um, which is what they're going for. So we'll see. I just wonder, I mean, I think of like CJ Stroud and how many, how many moments he had and some of like the, his rare and his legendary, some of the, like his debut. It's just like, you know, like you wonder if like, if they're not trying to emulate something like that with like a Caleb Williams. I mean, they are, but they're, what they're doing, which is interesting. is like before you had to get CJ Stroud's legendary by luck, right? You've got a pack that had it in it. I understand that. There were a couple yeah. of times where you could, you could like, I think there was one or two they did by 
they gave it away to like leaderboards or whatever and such. Okay. Um, but Caleb, Williams, this is going to be different because again, one of the ways you're going to be able to get to a legendary Caleb Williams is by buying a ton of the rare or the well of rares, which come from the commons. So if right. you stack up the commons and then craft into the rares and then craft into the legendary, that's a great, that's a, you've just Correct. earned yourself, you know, again, not saying he's CJ Stroud, but let's say he is, that's a $4,000 moment right now. So, right. right. I guess what I'm saying is that maybe that's why they burn them versus or trade them in versus locking them. Cause then maybe, maybe. it like squeezes but, the supply yeah. and I don't know. Yeah. Whew. I, it, it would be tough for me because the, the one thing about the CJ Stroud legendary was that it still had the debut badge on it. And so that made sense. Whereas you're literally getting rid of his debut to get a legendary. It's kind of a, like, for me, that's tough because it's like, again, I'm a rookie card guy. So it's like, you're going to make me give up a hundred, you know, not a hundred, but like, you know, 20 of these to get to this. Like, right. that's a lot. That's a lot of rookies to give up to get to that. Yeah. So, and maybe but I mean, again, you know, maybe, if, if, yeah. if it's only like, you know, if there's only like 20 of them or something like that, then it could be very sought after. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and still say that I just I'm gonna. I mean, yeah, the lock, it, the, lock is, for the lock is gonna be probably the way they go. But come on, dream with me. Yeah, I'll dream with you. Um, okay. Anyway, yeah. So these, so there's gonna be multiple ways to get these rookie moments. There's gonna be trade ins, leaderboards, um, you know, locking airdrop, blah 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 blah. Right. And so yep. there's gonna be a bunch of different ways to get them, um, and I think that'll be interesting. Now we're going to get into something. Get, this is where it gets started getting a little bit more controversial. All right. There are going to be 10 rookies this year who get ultimate moments. And four of them have already been named. So th this is where it gets a little crazy. There are four rookies right now, Malik Neighbors, Marvin Harrison Jr., uh, Jaden Daniels, and Caleb Williams, who have ultimate moments. They're already minted. They are going out in packs starting tomorrow. And they have not played a down of football. And so it, yep. to me, again, we saw what happened to Aaron Rodgers last year. Boy, I, it, it really, that is a risky, risky move on their part to do. Not even now. the Aaron Rodgers part. I mean, just what if these guys suck? I mean, even if they suck, even Zach Wilson probably had a moment last year where he made a really awesome throw and you could make a right. moment out of that. I understand that. Fine. But if there was a, if there was a Zach Wilson ultimate right now, it would be worth right. You know. Would it be worth? Yeah, it wouldn't be worth shit. So Not much. Anyway, I think they're picking these four guys saying these guys are going to be something. I, as a Bears fan, of course, I hope they're right because one of them is our quarterback. But boy, this is That's a, a risky really move. interesting. Yeah, it's risky. Yeah. Risky business, yeah. 100%. But I also kind of just like, you know what? Good for, like, hey. I mean, taking we were a chance, sitting there saying it. they should do yeah. more with ultimates. But I, yeah, they're doing I more with ultimates. I think they shouldn't have named them maybe, and they should have maybe waited for the ultimate play because, you know, I, I know you're going to get into this in a second that they're going to, you know, one of the things that they're trying to do is they're trying to make the legendaries actual legendary yeah. plays. The fact yeah. that they're already calling these ultimates, I mean, they haven't, there's no guarantee they're going to make an ultimate play. They might not even yeah. make it past the sideline after like four plays. I know. It, so it, anyway, anyway, they got to take the it, risk. It's going to be really interesting. Now, that being said, I will shepherd anyone who gets one of those Caleb Williams ultimates. Mm -hmm. It's going to be garbage. Just send it my way. You know, hey, uh, just like let's talk. I, I'll take care. Of, I'll take care of it. It's not yep. a problem. So, yeah. Okay. Ten, ten uh, count on the ultimates. I'm assuming. Yeah, ten, ten count. So there'll be a hundred total ultimates. Okay. Ten, ten rookies, ten each. Ooh. Well, so I mean, hey, they're going yeah. after the ultimates now. They are, but boy, they, it's like they, it's like they're like all or nothing. Because last year we talked about this. There was one ultimate last year that was a, I know. and it was Mahomes in the Super Bowl. And there's going to be I'm just ten glad before that, we even get to the playoffs. Right. I'm glad they're doing ultimates. You know, I maybe yeah. don't agree with the exact fashion they're doing it, but at least they're doing ultimates. They're they're taking advantage. No, I agree. Of that. All right. In addition, with these rookies, they're going to do for the five for the offensive rookie of the year, the top five finalists, and the defensive rookie of the year. They're all going to get a legendary moment. And this legendary moment will be airdropped to the top 50 fans of that player. So this, I like this. This is, I think this is like, we talk about like, hey, where's a reward? Like this is an exclusive reward. So if you 
let's say Brian Thomas Jr., let's say he just finishes fourth this year, right? Okay. But, man, you stacked the hell out of him, right? You got your stacks because no one believed in him, and you did, and you bought them all when they were a few bucks, and no okay. one else was believing in him. And you get to the end of the year, and he finishes fourth, you're going to get a free legendary moment of Brian Thomas Jr. just for believing in him. Got it. Okay. Okay. So I like that. Because, again, it's like, yes, it's probably going to be – but but here's what I like. Okay, maybe, you know, Caleb Williams or someone like who's like a top dog or Jaden Daniels, one of those two guys finishes first, and, and that's fine. But in the top five, and then also there's a defensive player, which, no, you know, like, again, we see defensive players. No one collects those things. So this this gives people who do like to collect defense mm-hmm. and offense and all around sure. – this gives sure. them a really nice um, yeah, opportunity to really get an awesome moment. So I, I like this. I do like and, this. It's um, it's a lot, but curious to hear what your thoughts are. What do you think about like a moment that's – there's like the only way you can get this moment is by being a fan of this player. Oh, I think it's great. I think it's great. I mean, I, I think the one thing I kind of struggle with, and, and, and maybe you know a little bit more about this, is just the amount of legendaries. It's like, you know, again, like – we're talking about more legendaries coming out and it's like, you know, have they given us a number? Like, do we have any concept of how many legendaries? I know that like my understanding is they're coming out later in the season and we, and we're talking about crafting these guys to get legendaries, but you know, we looked at the numbers for last season with the dynamics yep. and it was, I, I know it was a lot more, but I just wonder when we start adding there is all this no up, way they're going to match there's no that way they're going to be past that. Yeah. I get that. But I mean, but, again, they should, so, they need to, they need to hold on to these. Cause the one thing that they do want to do is they want to make the legendary moments actually legendary plays. So that's the one thing I wonder are, about, like with a this, Brian Thomas Jr. Yeah. Will he have a legendary play? Well, right. But this is what I like about this is like, okay, if you finish in the top five voting for offensive rookie of the year, or if you win defensive okay. rookie of the year, you had to Probably. have a legendary play in there somewhere. So Possibly, this this yeah. is a great – and then the other thing that they can do is the rares and legendary rookies, they haven't decided who gets those yet. I mean, there's a few that are going to have to, but mm-hmm. outside of those couple of few that they've bet heavily on, when they get to that legendary set, if you know if Caleb Williams goes down week one with a calf injury and never comes back, okay, well, he had an ultimate and he had a you know, common, but maybe he doesn't get the rare set. Maybe he doesn't make the legendary set. He doesn't make the yeah. final legendary yep. set. And that's what exists for him. And, sure. and that's fine. Maybe he made yeah. some crazy off-platform throw in week one and you know, got hurt the next play, and that's it. That's what it is. So Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, so I think they're at least, like, what I like is that before week one hits, there are no legendaries. No, there are four ultimates, but there are no legendaries being released into the wild yet. So it yeah. will at least keep legendaries to a minimum. Um, but the one thing I'll say about this is it does, it makes it interesting, which is there's all those legendaries from last year. And as things come up, as like challenges come up with legendaries involved, it kind of makes those legendaries, the overproduced legendaries from last year worth a little something now all of a sudden, because maybe you need a legendary of Kirk Cousins and there's only one and it's the, it's limited to 30 and it's a, you know, it's a, yeah. uh, what's it called? You know, it's a dynamic moment from last season. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I think I think the issue is more with Ron Jaworski versus Kirk Cousin, but. True. But, I mean, you know, Jaws, Jaws is just one of those guys that you get no matter what. So, uh, you know, I'm Kirk Cousins is more of like a maybe guy, right? That's all yeah. I'm trying to say. Got yeah. it. Got it. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 So, tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. 11 a.m. our time, 2 p.m. Eastern time. I don't know. I think it's 11 a.m. our time. You can we're, figure we're it out. We're West Coast time. Yep. Whatever. Sometime tomorrow, there are going to be pack drops. Now, they're draws, so it's not like you got to be there right ready to get in line. I don't mm-hmm. know what they're going to limit it to. Probably some bullshit number like only 100 packs per person or whatever. I'm sure it'll be something crazy. But okay. there are two packs you can sign up for tomorrow. All right. Here we go. Let's the hear first, it. There's the quick, there's a quick rip pack. This quick rip pack is going to have five moments in it. And those five moments are going to be four rookie, or most likely five rookie debuts. And it could be, they didn't, it doesn't say anything outside of, it could be any rookie. And the list okay. of rookies that are available in these packs yeah. is extensive. There are, I didn't count, but there's got to be about a hundred rookies that you can pull. So 
the chances so of so they just basically like, went through what one through a hundred on the like on the on the draft and just said everybody gets a moment. I have no idea what they were doing or thinking here. I'd be honest with you. I, all I can tell you is there are guys on this list that I don't even I, I just don't know who they are, and they were just drafted. But you know they're <laughs> drafted by teams where with, I maybe oh. don't pay as much attention to them, and. You know, they got moments. Okay. So, so like Oprah was I, out there, you get a moment, you get a moment, you get a moment. <laughs> dude, okay, here we go. I'm going to give you, right now, I'll give you a chance. With no Google assistance, you tell me okay. who this player plays for the team, I will give you $5. All right, you ready? Ooh. How Jared about this? You, get, you, get, you give me a Ted Washington. I'll give you a Ted Washington. Jared Wiley. Jets. No. Panthers. <laughs> Don't know who it is. Jared Wiley is a tight end for the Chiefs. Okay. That was my next guess. I, I know it was, but anyway, that's but th you get my point. There's a few yeah. hoo hoos on here. And oh, yeah. I mean now there are some guys now look, I'm sure Chiefs fans are probably like, What? I know you know, like they all know who he is. I'm sure you do. Sure. Okay? I'm just talking yeah. we're talking household names. Like Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah, yeah. But there but I will tell you who got a moment that uh that you're going to like. Okay. Spencer Rattler. Funny. Good old Spencer Rattler. Good old yeah. Spencer Rattler got himself a moment in NFL all day. Yeah. I'd appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, there's a little bit of, a little bit of story behind that one, but that's uh, cool. Yeah. Been yeah. to high school, baby. All right. Yeah. Um, all right. So anyway, yeah. So, so, that's that kind of gives you a, a feel for uh, what's going on there with those moments. So, anyway, there are some there's some long shots, there's some studs. Anyway, you get you get five of those moments, and it could be a stud, it could be a dud, it could be anything. And then there's a chance that you get one of those rare uh, rookie fresh or sorry rare fresh thread moments. So okay. it's nine dollars, it's nine dollars for that pack. You get five moments, so you're looking at two bucks a moment. And honestly. Okay. Two bucks per rookie, I feel like that's a pretty good value. I like that. Now you're not right. getting the good good rookies, most likely, just based on. But that. you could be getting a but, diamond and a rough. I mean, what if Wiley goes off and ends up being like? So I mean, there's always somebody in the second round that ends up being somebody. So it's there. Yeah, like I again, think that's like why they're probably. And... That's probably why they're doing this. Is because they probably yeah. miss people in the past. It's like they're not missing Puka Nakua this time. They are not missing a guy this year. Like, do, I mean, you want to talk about like, there's like, Seventh round the rough, let's talk real quick. There's, you know, like, I'm going to go just strictly offense. Just, there are some defensive sure. studs. So apologies to fans of defense, but just to keep it offensive minded, your boy, uh, you know, Brian Thomas Jr., who, you know, again, a lot of people think is like that sure. dark horse, best receiver in the draft kind of guy. Uh, then you got uh, the Niners guy, Ricky Pearsall. You got the the guy that Steve Smith loves so much, Xavier Leggett. Uh, yep. You've got, uh, let's see here, Coleman from the Bills. Yeah, Keon Coleman from the Bills. You got some running backs that were drafted deeper, uh, you know, into the into the whole situation. You got your defensive guys, right? You got Dallas Turner. You got uh, what's the guy's name from? Uh, oh God, I forget his name already. From, oh, the guy from the, the guy Lions. from was it UCLA? Anyway, the, the guy that you wanted the Jags to draft, I forgot his name. It's the guy that went to the Lions. I don't remember his name. Uh, he was from Alabama. He was the safety, I believe. Oh, I thought you wanted. I thought you wanted this other guy. There Lots was of, the guy, the D lineman that oh, went to the Colts. Oh, I, I, I kind of did want him, but it was the guy that went to the Lions that like had such Got a good it. personality at the draft. Yeah, that, that Terry. Uh, what's his name? Ar Arnold or something? Yeah, Terry on Arnold. That's the DB that you're yep. thinking of. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, Jared Verse, um, some of the linemen are in here. Joe Alt. Oh, so, okay, that's what uh, I was going to ask you. Jason. How many how many linemen got? Like, does it have a it by position? Really? It doesn't, but I can see. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. At least five O linemen. We have, got a starting uh, O line. <laughs> you got a whole line. You got you know again. You got your Spencer Rattler. You got Kool, uh, Kool Aid McKinstry made the list. Uh, a couple of the oh, yeah. receivers out of New England. Um, anyway, yeah. So again, definitely some like deep cuts. It's, it's definitely some deep cuts on this list. 
that, that, that's um, but good. I like I mean, it. Actually, yeah. the, more, the more that we talk about it here, the more I think I like it. I mean, it's, again, like, everybody wants rookies, right? So, I, yeah. hey, put them I'm out. I'm saying right now, I'm, I'm a buyer of just to just to get some of these guys, like, in my collection, two bucks a pop. Because buckle up, Buttercup. It is about to get extensive when you want to get the big dogs rolling. So, if you want to get the big dogs you got to pony up $99 for a 10 pack. And in this 10 pack, what you're going to get is one stud, one secondary stud. So you're going to get one stud and like that. You're going to get like, when you say one stud, you're talking about one of the 10, one of the, no, one of the top five. So we're talking Caleb Williams, Bo Nix, um, uh, Caleb, Bo, I don't know. I I guess Drake, Drake. I'm sure it's one of the quarterbacks. That's why they did Penix. That makes so much more sense now. Okay. So in these packs, you're going to get one of the five studs. Penix, Bo Nix, Caleb Williams, Drake May, Jaden Daniels. You're going to get they one of those. five. Okay. They needed five. That's why they did this. This makes more sense now. Now I know why Brian Downs got squeezed out. Okay. Got it. Still. Anyway. Did they make then a JJ you're gonna McCarthy? A, you're going to you – know, clipboard Jesus. Then you're going to get a second rehab Jesus. All right. You're going to get a second stud moment, and it's going to be one of the five pass catchers. So Bowers, uh, Worthy, Adunze, Neighbors, Harrison Jr. So you're going to get one from this pile, one from this pile, guaranteed. Okay. I don't think you can control which player you get. I don't think you can go like I want the, you know, Jayden I Daniels. want the Jaden Daniels pack, which which would be at this price. I feel like they should, but so because you, you're still crap shooting. Like, dude, I'm going to say right now, if I pull a Penix at a ninety-nine dollar pack. I'm not pleased. I'm not going to yeah. be happy with the $99 Penix. So just saying that for the record. That's yeah. this, this Penix. Yeah. Keeping Penix on here, bull, complete bullshit. Like, I get it. They did it to balance it out. But just put Marvin Harrison Jr. as a stud yeah. with the quarterbacks and throw Penix into the bullshit pile. Because, like, th- like anyway. Yeah. I, I don't like I, Penix that being one, in that the top ten. Yeah. Yeah, unless, that was tough. Look, unless they got, unless they're in with the NFL scriptwriters and they know that Kirk Cousins is going out week four and Penix is going to come light the world on fire, then I don't want him in that. I don't want him in my top ten. Do you want Bo Nix? I do want Bo Nix. I think Bo okay. Nix is all right. I actually think Bo Nix, like Bo Nix, may be the best quarter. Like, sorry, he may have the best performance this year out of those quarterbacks. Okay, okay. So, so I mean, I'm not saying he thing. will, but I'm just saying Here, here's he's what got I'll a say: good coach. And low yeah. expectations. This is what I'll say about Penix. Like, Penix right. right now, you look at it and you think, eh. But you know what? Give the NFL three seasons, three three weeks to start spitting some shit out and then see how you feel. Because, again, a lot of this Bo Nix goes down with a knee injury and all of a sudden Michael Penix is playing or something. You know, it's like things change so fast. Yeah, I got you. And I, and, and I know things can happen. And I know Kirk Cousins is coming off of an Achilles. And it could be yeah. – he may not, you know, be great week one. So – I know there's a lot that could happen, but yeah. Again, if I'm All spending ninety nine dollars, right. I want, I, I, and I don't, I just want to know that I'm landing one of what I would perceive as the five studs, and I would not okay. say, you know, to me it's Williams. I, I don't, I don't like even Drake May. I wouldn't. I would rather have like Malik Neighbors or uh, yeah, you know, Harrison Junior over Drake May or Bo Nix or yeah. Michael Penix. Like, yeah. I'd rather have, like, what I consider, like, my top, like, the top studs out of this draft. But nonetheless, I digress. We're talking about what you get here. So you get one from the quarterback pile. You get one from the receiver pile. Okay. Then you get one rare thread moment. And then you get seven more uh, moments. You get seven more just, like, rookie moments. And it sounds like they're probably not from the 1500 pile. It sounds like. They're from the, you know, just from the 2,500, 3,000 mint pile. Got it. You're getting Joe Alt. You're getting Joe Alt. You're getting uh, that tight end from the Chiefs that I've already forgotten the name of. Those guys. Okay. Wiley. Okay. Wiley. That Wiley. He's so Wiley. Uh, All right. Then, and here's something they did. I love, like, I love this. There's a, when you open packs, there are these things called God packs. And a God pack is when you open up something like, if you're buying physical cards and it's like one of these like special packs where it's like all amazing cards. And so they've made, they didn't call them this. I'm going to call them this. They've made 10 God packs where 
you're going to rip this pack. And instead of just getting two studs, you get 10 studs. I don't know if you get, I don't know if it's like one of each or if you could get like three Jaden Daniels in this pack. I don't know how they're going to do it, but you're going to get 10 of the studs in that single pack. So 10 people are going to rip a pack from this drop that are going to be so happy because they're going to get a bunch of studs in that pack. And, and these so are just random packs. They're just random packs. There's only 10 of them that exist. And they're just like kind of out there. They're, they're just for funsies. You know what I mean? I think that's a great idea. I, I think that's a great it. idea. Cause again, it's just like, it's a, it's another, it's another kind of like Easter egg. Like somebody's going to get this yeah. and, and be pumped. And it's like, it's just another reason to buy packs. It's like, yeah. And they did kind of uh, on the quick rip side, there's five, I guess we'll call them demi God packs, right? Cause they're not quite as good as the God packs, but five packs will have a Caleb Williams, a Jaden Daniels, a Harrison Jr. A Malik neighbors and a Roma Dunze in them. So there, yep. there'll be five packs on the quick grip side that will have those five moments. To Wait, me, the ultimates mixed into this. Now, hold on, we're not there yet. So no, we're, we're not. Good we're segue. Not. We're about to get into the ultimates. The quick rip packs. There will be one ultimate in all the quick rip packs. It will be a yep. Caleb Williams, and it will be out. It will be just one Caleb Williams in all the quick rip packs. Got it. So there's it the one cereal? ultimate out there in every quick rip pack. Cereal. Doesn't say cereal, what's... but it's not okay. the number one because the number one I'm is sure it's not, yeah. a crafting. It's a crafting challenge. Yep, yep. So or a trading okay. challenge. Um, okay. So to the okay. other ones. On the premium side, there will be four ultimate moments available, one of each player. So okay. one of each player will be in the premium packs that are going for ninety nine dollars for the ten moments. So that being said, do you think? that the floor for these rookies is $40. Meaning if, Which if there are the, the top, these top 10 guys, top so the 10. 10 guys we've named, I'm curious to say, cause like what I would say is that like, if you think about it, the other seven guys are worth $2. We already know that from based on what they're selling for in hot route. Sure. Yep, yep. That rare, a rare, a rare moment's worth $10 these days. Like unless, you know, again, it's not a rookie. It's not anything. It's not a debut. It's nothing special. So it's just a regular old rare. That's a, I'm going to say it's like a $10 value. Maybe if you get the right guy with the right play, it's 20, but let's just say it's 10 bucks. Okay. So 10 bucks plus your, you know, roughly 10 bucks from the other guys means that the two rookies you pull in your path, the one quarterback and the one receiver have to make up for $80 worth of value, roughly to make this pack a, an even value pack. Do you think if there's 1500 moments of Michael Penix, What's his floor price? Like, what do you think? I'm curious to know. What do you think a Michael Penix is going to go for in the secondary market after, you know, after these packs start going out? So let me ask you this question. Do all the packs come out at once? So will all these packs be released into the wild at once? Or will there be? Because I feel these like these packs if they, will, if they... but not all of the moments. So, so that's a great question. And it's a good point. In the packs, there will not be. So, for instance, there's 1,500 Caleb Williams, but only about 500 of them are going out into the wild tomorrow. I mean, kind of like I've said before, I, I feel like it's it's going to be like a it's going to be a stair step down. It, I feel like when these come out initially, they're going to be yeah. they're going to be high. They're going to be really high. Yeah. Now, I, I think well, yeah, what you're asking me is 500 of them, right? So once they make it to all 1,500 of them out, mm, yeah. I, I think some of the good guys are going to be over 40. I think some of your, your Drake Mays and stuff like that, the, they might start slipping kind of lower. Yeah. Where do you like, so I'm yeah. curious, like just again, let's, let's have a little fun with this. Like, right. What do you, what do you see that floor at? Like, let's just, I'm going to say, let's say Penix doesn't get in the rest of the, he plays like two games the whole season, right? Doesn't get in a lot. What's Penix worth at the end of the season when there's 1500 out there and he's played a couple of games and he has, you know, I mean, these moments. I guess I'm kind of predicting his season. I'm, here's the one that I would like to pick is is Drake May because I think okay. the Patriots are not going to be very good, and I think Drake yeah. May is going to maybe struggle a little bit. So I, I I agree. I think they're in a competitive rebuild year. They're going to lose a lot, they're, but he's going to help them keep it competitive. I think if it's a trade in, his value goes up. But I'm going to go ahead and go with the lock, and I'm going to say. $32, Drake May. $32 for a Drake May rookie. I'm trying to think of like a, a valid, 
uh, or like a, a, a comparison and, we and, can make. I'm, and that's the closest with, thing I can think of is launch codes where it's and that's, what, and like that's 900. With, and that's with no trade in. And I, I still think I'm going, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to take that down. I'm going to go 22 bucks for Drake May. Yeah. I, I really think like, I mean, again, I think they're doing a great thing, but historically the packs have been overpriced. Like, yeah. you know, we always feel like there's this value in them and then things kind of drop down. I now. Think, I here's, think here's the, the thing. Packs are not overpriced. Here's the thing. If playbook, like, again, like if you need like Drake may for like playbook and it's like, there's all these like great things with that, then, then yeah. Then Drake may yeah. like, again, like if he's like throwing for like 300 yards and it's like, I need Drake may for that. And it's like, you know, if, if, if they were doing a trade in and then like Drake may start like dissipating, then I could see like they can squeeze the value up. So it's just like yeah. again, like he could have more garbage time yards, and then like they're, for that, I mean they're sque- dude, they're squeezing the value up. I can tell you right now, they're like yes. Think about this: there, there's only going to be 500 of these moments released in this drop, and 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 again, they're trying to reward you by stacking these moments. So you're going to tell me like that 500 or 1500? Like, we already know what's that? Did you say 1500? Right. No, no, there's 1,500 total. Yes. But in this, but with the in 500 this, drop, this time, okay, about yeah. 500 are going out. Yeah. Meaning, our app, like we look at the active user base of NFL all day. It's yeah. roughly, again, it's somewhere in the 1,500 to 2,500 yes. range. Now, sure. that's that's people who will like, when, when there's like, you know, like just normal NFL all day activity, that's the active user base between 1,500 and 2,500 now. You throw in all the top shot people who are going to see these pack sales and come in and try to flip packs. Like pack flippers are going to be out in droves. Yeah. And you were talking the end of the season. You said by the end of the season. I know I did. And, and, but I'm saying I, I'm, right. I'm, I'm adding to your theory, which is the stair step down. Because yeah. I'm saying that by the time that this first drop comes out with the pack flippers – with the amount of people who want to have multiple of a player and okay. there are going to be only 500 of each of these players out, there is going to be a, I feel like these prices are going to be astronomical compared to where they wind up. So I'm agreeing with you. Right. You, I mean, again, I, I think some of these players, I, I feel like there's going to be the haves and the haves nots. Like, let's say Caleb yeah. Williams has a bust out season and Jaden and Dan, Daniels has a great season. Like, I feel like you could see a huge discrepancy in price. Yeah. Which is, well, which for makes sure. sense. I mean, it, it's going to be like last year. When you look at like the dynamics, when they came out, they were super expensive and 90% of them went down. But right. the few guys who really performed, CJ Stroud, um, gosh, I forgot. There were a couple more guys that kind of went up over time. Yeah, but um, like Puka, uh, yes, Cash, uh, Jordan Love, um, yeah, yeah. You know, anyway, about ten percent. Right, their dynamic moments actually went up, right? And I think sure. you're going to see the same thing with these rookies. And so, for me, my strategy, like going into this or whatever, give me quick rip packs all day. I'm going to take all those garbage rookies, and I'm just going to hit my lottery ticket there. There and you go. Stat, you know, and, and like that to me, that's the strategy. Like. Yeah. I love, I love the bears. I love the bears. You know, we know, right? Yeah. Like, right. but it's, and it's going to pain me, but I just, it's not going to be sensical to try to like compete with the whales of the world who are going to be able to throw hundreds of dollars at a Caleb Williams common 1500, because again, they're, you're going to be paying triple the price because it's going to be one third of the supply out there. So prices right. are going to be about triple where they should be. So, so if I'm understanding you correctly, though, Brian Thomas Jr. would land in the, the quick rip pack. Yep. So, I mean, again, like, so, you know, like, I'm just going to go ahead and say this to everybody out there. Okay. As a Jaguars fan, I know what's what. Brian Thomas Jr. is going to be the shit. So you heard it here first. Okay. Like, to me, it's just like, if you go out there and, and you buy, you know, how many packs could you buy? You know, like, what's the, the you could, what is it, $9 I, per? I don't even, yeah. So $9 compared to 90, 99. or ni- 99, I think. So essentially, like, 10 packs. So, I mean, like, I really, like, I mean, you could get a lot. And how many moments are in the quick rip? Five. Five, okay. 
versus 10. So, you, so for the same price, you can get 50 rookies or you can buy the one with the studs and get 10. I mean, I think it's like, to me, it's like, if you're going to go out there and you're going to do this, like maybe go out and get like one or two. So you can like, yeah. at least, you know, like, again, that, it, it depends on your level, but you know, you got to go out there and maybe get a couple just to I'm make gonna sure you get got my it. one of each. I got to get my one of each, but it just, I can't, I can't rationalize the, I, and again, I hope, I hope I'm dead wrong and I hope the prices are super cheap, but I can't rationalize going out and paying these exorbitant prices for the, for the debuts in the hopes you know what I mean? Like, so we'll see, we'll see what happens yeah. now, but yeah, yeah, I, I, I completely agree with that. So I, but I, I feel again, like, like, Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, I, I mean, I want to get your take on this. So like when 500 moments, like I, I would like to know what you think is going to happen. So when these moments drop, what do you think a Caleb Williams should go for? If, like in one week, what do you think Caleb Williams is going for? What do I think when 500 of them are out? When 500 are out, he has not played a game yet. And there's 500 out in the wild. What's he, what's he selling for? I'm going to give you a little bit of a big range here. I'm going to say between 111 and $144. Yeah. I mean, I think that's, I think north of $100 is where he'll be. And it's it somewhere just, in in that neighborhood yeah. but again it's just you know like i i could also see it like there's going to be some like i mean again there, there's going to be a few of them that go up for sale there's going to be these huge peaks and valleys because you know it's just it's just like a stock you know it's like you gotta it's gotta find yeah. its footing and i think that some people are going to speculate that it's going to go higher and they're going to be willing to pay that and you know what if somebody comes in and does like a like a, a jacoby jones on it and just you know buys a bunch of them well i mean people are going to be doing jacoby jones on them because you want to be on the leaderboard. There are going to be the whales. Those top right. guys are going to be like, I don't care if I pay 111. I, I think I think 111 may be way too low. I, I mean, I think okay, these but, may be like closer to two. And, and let me just ask you this: Did you with the leaderboard? It's average price, right? Average sale price. Average sale price. So if a bunch of these sell for like like I, I could see where like if a bunch of these sell high and then they drop low because person gets they're not like. Yeah dinged up or something like that. I mean, I could see where you can kind of play that. Yeah, but that's a risky, I mean, right. It's a risky oh, yeah, game. Yeah. 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 So, I, but, but yeah, I, 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 I guess what say, I'm saying like, is think... like, if you, if you see one of these drop extremely low and you think like, let's say Drake may plays kind of iffy, he's out for like three weeks and he drops really low. Somebody could say, okay, they got a really weak schedule at the end. Maybe he's going to swoop in and do this, and you could. I mean, you could make a play that way. I mean, it's it's a little bit of a long shot, but again, I, like, yeah. I don't know. I think you're low. Here's why I think you're low on cable. I think the only quarterback of the five that even possibly goes for under 100 is Penix. I don't think Drake May goes for under 100, not right away. Nah, you think, think he'll he... be under 100 right away? Well, I mean, right away. I mean, again, it's it's peaks and valleys, but I. <sighs> I'm saying I'm not I'm not talking about peaks and valleys. I'm talking about I'm talking about one week. I'm talking about before kickoff. I mean one Wednesday week is before kickoff. Oh, okay. I mean I, again, like you're gonna I, I would see that you're gonna see I'm some the highest hype. prices. Yeah, I that's what I am saying. Peak okay. hype. Peak hype. hype. I mean, yeah, you're gonna see some big prices. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, I could see Drake May easily over that. But I'll tell you what. The price the difference between the price on Wednesday and the price on Tuesday is going to be dramatically different for some of these guys. For yeah, maybe for a few, not for too many. I mean, I, I can see I like you know one of these guys goes up there and, and like has like a shitty week one. I could see the I price. Mean, I don't. Tumbling. I don't think a shitty week one is going to deter price. I think injury. I think an injury yeah, yeah, could yeah. tank somebody. But well, I think let, again, like let's say Caleb Williams goes out and throws three picks. I mean, will boy, some people fail? Oh yeah, it will, but not. I don't think it'll drop enough. Here's what it comes down to, to me, okay? Yeah. Like, I hear what you're saying with the leaderboards. It's about the playbook. Like, what are they going to do with playbook? Like, what are we doing week to week? Like, are we going out there and, are like, what, like, do we need certain sets? What do we need? Like, to yeah. me, it's like, when they figure that out, how are we going to use these moments? That's what I need to know. Because that, to I me, feel... is like, that's going to yeah. determine, like, the price of these guys. And that's the thing I can't figure out yet. 
to and know I, how to move They forward haven't announced it. anything yet, but it's, I think everybody in the Discord, everything that I've read is that people are anticipating that they're going to take kind of a game that is like the top shot fast break game and bring okay. it over to the NFL market. So it, I didn't, I, all I know is it's like, it was like the top shot game, it was like every night. It, it, basketball is different, right? Because there's games like every night. And so it would be like, hey, there's these, these six games tonight. Pick players that are going to score points, have assists, have rebounds. And, you know, if you get them right, you get prizes and you move up the leaderboard or whatever for the week. Got it. And, you know, or for the month or for the season. It feels like they're going to probably do something like that. Obviously, the NFL doesn't play on every night. I mean, it seems like they do now, but they don't play on as many nights as basketball. They're, the games aren't as spread out. And so Got it. I don't know what it's going to be, if it's going to be like weekly fantasy or whatever. But I feel like that. Everybody, it, it, everybody's talked about it. It feels like it's kind of a slam dunk that this comes over in some way. So no pun intended. I, I don't okay, know. we'll see. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'll, I'll be curious to see. Like, that's the one thing. Like, that's the, like, there hasn't been a playbook in a long time. Like, nothing's really yeah, been, been happening. Yeah. It's been, it's but hasn't it been like a month? Maybe. I mean, like, I feel like the last yeah. one was the almost uh, a month, probably almost a month. Yeah. I, I feel like here's the thing. It's like they're talking about all these moments. They're talking about going back to basics. You know, like it makes me think like, what were they doing? And like, you know, they keep saying back to basics. So I, in my mind, I kind of look at like, what were they doing in the original playbooks? You know, maybe that's the way that they're going with this. Maybe they're going yeah. back to what was the original. I mean, I, I, I hear the speculation and that could definitely be it. But, you know, maybe at the same time, they're going back to what it was when I don't know, and I and I'd have to like sit there and think about it, but I mean, I do remember playbook being a lot more fun at the beginning than what it's become over the last few seasons, maybe. So yeah, I I don't know on that front. But here's what I will say: there's two things I want to throw in here because I know we've been going here for a while. So I just want to say two things. I'm glad dynamic moments are gone. I'm really glad that they're gone. And uncommons, if they're gone, that's good too. And the one yeah. thing I wanted to mention, and this is just like a little footnote that I just wanted to bring up, there is in the filter section on the uh, on the uh, uh, all day site, ownership, all moments are uncollected moments. I just want to say to the programmer who made this happen, big shout out to you for the uncollected moments section where now you can go in. You can click that button, kind of like you were talking with your Amazon shopping cart, and you can say, which moments do I not own? And yeah. it has made my life so much easier to just look through these moments. I fucking love it. It's like I, I hear all this great stuff, but I'm I got more of a hard on about this, you know, uncollected moments than than a lot of this stuff because it's just like that just sifting through this, it just makes my life easier. And again, like I know there's other ways to do it through own the moment and things like that, but I really like that feature. So just big shout out to the programmer who did that or whoever made that happen. Yeah, no, I agree. That's a great, a great feature they added. And yeah, totally, a totally forgot one. about that. But yeah, it got lost in the wash of all the news, I'm sure. And there, yeah, there's a lot of great news. And and just kind of like rounding this all up, you know, like we've given all day a lot of shit for like, you know, what they've done and whatever. But I got to say yeah. that I think that they're doing a hell of a job right now. And like, it seems like things are kind of getting back on track. So I'm hoping that everything's going to get back to where it was. But it seems like you know they're they're getting their shit together so i i like where things are going and I, and i and i would project that based on what i'm seeing so far that i think there's going to be more users i think this is their year and i yeah. know that they they've blown it every year around kickoff time but it seems like so so i'm waiting for playbook to come out and say something stupid but for right now it seems like maybe just maybe they got it yeah no i agree and i think they really kind of have done something for everyone it feels like you know, like, again, it's like, there's like, there's things that you can do all along the way. Like, you know, even the, even down to like the rookie moments or whatever, like having the quick rip packs versus the, the premium packs. It's like, you can still, there's still ways to get things. So I, I like that. I like the way that they're yeah. doing the leaderboards and they're making things available at all levels. And they've explicitly said in some of the stuff that I've read in the blogs where it's like, they're going to have trade-ins that are geared in at all levels, right? At the legendary level, at the rare level, at the common level, so that multiple people can you know participate yeah. and it's not just focused on like the big dogs and so i you know i appreciate that i will correct you on one thing dynamics are not totally gone because two things one the banner moments the banner year moments are oh, going to be dynamic so they're still bullshit. there 
and that's then, bullshit. But here's what I'll say is that the that they're not dynamic, but the the fact that they're about to drop all these moments with no moments makes them a little bit dynamic, right? Like you don't know. Like again, if you're buying a rookie of of Brian Thomas, it's going to have a moment, but you don't know. You have no idea what play the Brian Thomas Jr. play is going to be. So. That is kind of an interesting point. I I wonder if that won't drive down the value a little bit just because they're like blank moments. Like, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think, don't so. think, I think so? people are so like focused on rookies and love this kind of shit that it's like, I mean, okay. come on, really? I, do you really think that you're not going to get, you're going to be like, no, nope, I'll wait on this Brian Thomas gent and see how he performs. Well, I'm going to be getting it for $2. So, you know, <laughs> I'll be actually. So like a Brian Thomas Jr. I don't think he's a $2 moment. I think he's like a, uh, Probably you're, somewhere in like the ten to twenty range, maybe maybe. You're more. talking about value, value, or not what you're paying for it. Like, I mean, we're talking about like what you think. The I know what you're value. talking about like he's a two dollar and a quick rip, but I'm saying that yeah. in secondary market, he's gonna he's gonna command. He'll probably be out of the the non ten guys. He's probably gonna be one of the top top sought after rookies. I would think. Yeah, I mean, all this talk about the quick rips. I mean, I might go whore myself up for some extra bucks to get some of these quick rip packs. You know, I mean, it's like. Yeah. I might need some extra I, I feel cash. Like that's the play right now because it's just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that seems like the play. But I know myself enough that, where it's like I can't. I'll at least have to try to track down one of an Adunze and one Caleb Williams. I got to at least have, like, I'm not gonna go all in, but I got to at least get one of each. So, yeah, yeah, all right. lots um, of great stuff happening. Quick, yeah, yeah, there is, and I'll just touch on one last thing, which is the trade ins that are going on right now. There are the number one, so you can actually trade in moments right now to get the number one serial from Caleb Williams, the number one serial from Roma Dunze, and the number one serial for Brock Bowers. There's also some sort of crate that I didn't have a chance to really dig into with like Derrick Henry's fresh thread moment. And I want to say it was like Saquon Barkley, I think, was the other one. So And these are live are, right now. Yeah, these are live right now under the play section. And there are ways there's going to be like crates cap having kind of all the moments that are coming. There's going to be fresh thread challenges and crates for fresh threads. There's going to be premium packs available. So there's going to be a lot of trade and opportunities um, via kind of this auction style that they've gone to over the next few days. And I will say that right now, the number one uh, Caleb Williams is basically the guy is trading in that Trevor Lawrence I mentioned way earlier in the episode that yeah. is worth like 4k but is only selling for like 2000 right now he's he's offering that up for the number 1 Caleb Williams rookie and so the fact that he's offering up a multi thousand dollar legendary just to get that's the number, the number one, one Caleb Williams yeah. but still that tells me right there and that's for the if, debut if you're willing right? to pay it is the debut and if you're willing to pay 2 grand for a moment that is the number one debut, and it's a common. That's like what a tenfold factor of where it's going to sit. That tells me Caleb Williams is going for it. And and again, this is just the starting entry. Someone's going to probably top that bid. So that tells me Caleb Williams could be north of two hundred. Hey, there's a sucker born every day. Yep, and one of them's right here, buddy. I'll see you on the leaderboards. <laughs> Can't wait. Yeah, exactly. Join us next week when I eat shit and tell you about how I spend thousands of dollars to be on the Caleb Blues leaderboard. Are, are, so, are you gonna? Are you even gonna make an attempt at this? I, I don't. I gotta see the price. I can't. I gotta. It's gotta be like a. Re, I've gotta feel like the price is reasonable for me to make an attempt. Well, at I this. mean, it's trade in. I mean, have you have you have you scoped it out? Have you looked into it? Oh, to you're see saying if, the like, number one. The number one. Yeah. Oh yeah. God, no, 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 no. no. You wouldn't. I mean, if you had the Trevor Lawrence, you wouldn't give it up for it. That's a lot of money. Come on, do it. You can do it. You know what? I, would, I think no. Seriously, I think I would. If I had two grand, I would probably put it towards. Yeah. Because here's the thing: at the end of the day, it's, ah, you're you too smart to for your own good. You're no fun. I know. Sorry. See you on the leaderboard, suckers. When I snipe yeah, but, it. Hey, what I will say: just you were mentioning trade ins. Keep the trade ins coming. The trade ins are great. Yeah, that that trade ins are again, awesome. That's another Love thing the they're trade-ins. just knocking out of the park. The trade ins yep. are great. Keep more of those. Don't stop doing trade ins. Don't stop it. Never stop. Yep. That. All right. Well, so now that the season's starting up, we're gonna have to be a little bit more uh, regular with our cadence. So we're gonna be back sooner than later. Now that right. off season's over, we're gonna be uh, 
you know, digging into what comes out and what comes up. So yeah. we're looking forward to the season. I think this is going to be a good one. Yeah. Appreciate it. If you guys stuck with us, well, God, Jesus, if you stuck with us this long, then, uh, I'm then you've sorry. You've got a gambling problem, probably. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm sorry. And, uh, yeah. And then thank you. So, uh, as always, like, subscribe and share, and we will see you on the next one, everybody. Later.